Hey guys, today I want to show you the two ways that you can pull in a save template into one of your Elementor pages. There's two ways of doing it because they do two different things. And this is in the pro version. So let's show you how this works. Let's create a very simple section, two columns. And then what we'll do is we'll put in kind of the classic, we'll do a head in, then we'll do the text editor, and then we'll do the button. So that's the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, we'll put an image. We won't select an image. We'll just put the placeholder in for the moment. And there is our section all ready to become a template. So I click the six dot icon. If I right click it, I can save as template. It's the same thing if I come down to the navigator and I right click here, save as template. And then it asks us to create a template. So I'm going to call it my new template, and I'm going to hit save. And then it shows me my list of templates that I have. I only have one template, which is this new template. So I'll close this down for the moment and then I'll close down this section. So now let's imagine you're building a page and you say, hey, I saved a template a while ago. I want to use that. I can't be bothered to build it again. What you do is you click on the folder icon and you go and find it. Now I've only got one, so it's not hard to find. And I click insert. I can click yes or no here. I'll just click no, I'm not interested in that. And so what happens now is it brings back the template and it may be that I just want to now carry on. So I might say, this is my title, you know, or I might want to change the button or the image, but at least I've got a good starting point. And so that's one way of using a template. But the thing that's important to realize is that any changes I make here are not going to be saved back to the original template. So if I want to bring in the template again, it's not going to use the changes that I just made up above because each time I bring it in, it's a new instance and it doesn't save back to the original template. I can just, you know, this is different. It's completely different. And so that's one way of using these save templates. Now, the, the only problem with using this is if you say, actually, all of these, I want to change all of them at the same time, then you've got a bit of an issue because they're all copies of the template, but each of them are different. So the other way you can use templates, and this only works in the free version, is you can pull in the template, but it's a non-editable version of the template, and it just reflects what the save template currently looks like. So here in the widgets, if I search for template, I can pull that in and then it's gonna ask me, well, which template are we looking for? And so you click on the drop down, and then sadly you have to remember the name of the template. I think mine's called something template. There it is, new template, and you select it. And now all it's gonna do is show you what you saved and that's not editable now. And so in some cases you might want that. Imagine if this is, I know part of a sidebar or something, but it's something that you've saved as a template and you just want to pull it through and put it on this page. And it's not going to be editable. If you want to edit it, you can, but you'll be editing the main template and it will overwrite the one that you saved before. So there we go. Two ways of pulling in templates. One's editable, one's not editable. And one of them, the first one I showed you, you can then uh, make changes, but it won't write back to the main one that you saved originally. Whereas the second one is really just a reflection or a mirror of the template that you saved in the first place. And that's it. Thanks for listening.